All right, so for today's video, what we have here is an Auric XL vacuum. This is gonna be pretty much the same process for just about every Auric there is out there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your bottom plate off, five screws. So just remove them. Okay, so we'll take the bottom plate off. And now we have access to the motor and brush roll. So pull the belt off, pull the brush out. And to make things a little easier, take the belt out too. So now you have access to the motor and all the wiring. So you have a few different wires going to a diff couple different points on the motor. What you're gonna to wanna to remember is with this particular motor, obviously unplug your machine first, but with this particular motor, this model has headlights. So you're gonna have these wires here that are added onto it. Now, if your vacuum doesn't have headlights, you don't need to worry about that. It's really just kind of the same thing. So you're gonna remove that power wire and you might need to assist it a little bit. There's that. And we also have another ground wire below. Pull that out, and then another and down below, you also have another set of two wires. So you have a total on this particular machine, four different connections on the motor that you're gonna have to remove. So motor is now disconnected. Next part is the fan chamber, the intake. And that will just come out, that screw removed. Now you take these other two screws out. Now you can move everything. So, remove the intake. And now you have access to the fan, which in order to remove this, might seem a little tricky at first, but it's reverse threaded. So what you're gonna have to do is tighten this nut, basically, you know, take it to take it clockwise. And then what I like to do is put like a screwdriver here and then the ratchet on the other side, it is a size 11 nut. And just turn it a couple times. So now with that off, go ahead and pull your motor out. Now being that this motor is slightly newer, it's a little bit different design, but largely speaking, it is the same thing. So the only difference is the contacts on the motor are in a different spot than they were on the old motor. So let's go ahead and finish this job up. We have the new used fan chamber. Make sure we get these extra parts out of the way here. Move that. Now the trick with these, just slide them in sideways and then push them down and grab your motor. Go ahead and stick the shaft through her. Now you'll need to obviously more or less make sure that you're not gonna be pinching any wires, so don't cinch anything down just yet. Make sure that you have everything accounted for, nothing's pinched, nothing's gonna get damaged. A lot of these wires like to kind of hide in spots that you can't really see. Now here is our other issue. We need to push the fan shaft. Don't forget that felt washer that's supposed to go on there, but you just push the fan up against the motor shaft. Star washer or lock washer. And then your retaining nut. Don't forget, everything's reversed on it, so counterclockwise, you're actually tightening it like you should be. These felt washers should be replaced. I don't have another one to put on it, so I'll change that out at a later date. Uh, they're cheap, I just forgot to buy one. 
And now to nevertheless finish the job, small screw goes in the intake. Throw that all the way down to the one clutch setting. And there you have it. So if you want, you can test it out, throw everything back together, the, the tube, the handle back in, the tube back on, um, you know, the bag back on rather. It's really kind of up to you what you want to do with it next. All right, so here we are, all put back together. You guys can clearly see. too bad I'm happy with that hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more VAC videos you all stay classy